one of my favorite products of all time. Today I'm opening up 2016-17 Heroes and Prospects. Welcome back everyone. This is a set that I opened up a while back, I believe right when this came out, and I believe this is actually the last year that Leaf Slash in the game came out with Heroes and Prospects. And this is about a $170 product, and it's really hard to find now, which is why I uh, got it as soon as I could find it, because I wanted one last chance at opening it, open it up back in the day. And my box was decent, but you can get some really awesome cards. You can get a Carter Hart Auto, Nolan Patrick right here, Jack Eichel, Heeshear, and Nick Suzuki would be another one. You can also get some old time time memorabilia which is so sick and I mean there's some amazing cards to be found in here this is gonna be a super fast video and you get 15 hits in a box not even a single pack they all come in this little box so I'm just gonna remove the wrapping here and uh, I mean, I'm super excited to uh, see what's going to be inside this, my second box of this product ever. It's just a really awesome product. Hopefully you'll see why in this video, and I haven't seen many videos out there on YouTube. So uh, let's just remove these stickers, which are, uh, geez, why didn't I not think of bringing any scissors? Probably should have done that. Okay, so both stickers have been removed, and uh, here we go. The box just slides up like this. So usually I believe you get like 10 autos and maybe 5 mem cards. And so let's just see, this is an unlicensed product, so no NHL logos or anything. And this is a card I've already got here on top. So, uh, all right, off to, I guess, a decent start. And let's just take the foam out here so I can grab the box of cards. And it seems like a few thick ones. Uh, all right, I don't know what to, uh, to expect. Let's just put the foam back in and then close up the box here. And here we go. So we've got 15 cards in here and hopefully you can get something awesome. And let's just dump these out. I'll try not to spoil the uh, card there on the back because yeah, I don't want to uh, ruin that. And uh, ooh, okay, let's uh, just go. Here we go, a single box of this Leaf Heroes and Prospects and uh, this is what you get. And so let's go. We've got an autograph to start things off. These are all sticker autos of Ian Scott. He's in the uh, Leafs organization, and uh, I mean, this was a very popular set. I don't know if uh, many of you remember, but uh, back before 1314, actually 1314 included, in the game used to make this Heroes and Prospects set, and you used to get about like 24 packs per box, maybe 18. Basically, you could get autos of CHL players before they made it to the NHL, which was so awesome. And, uh, well, I mean, now there's the Upper Deck CHL, but uh, this was the last time they did this. They shifted to a one packs per box deal back in, uh, I believe, 15, 16, actually maybe 14, 15. So here's what we have in this one. Let's go. We've got an Ian Scott autograph. Very nice. And then let's keep on going. Ooh, Kale Clegg autograph. He's, I believe, with the Kings, maybe? All right, very nice. And then we have a... Oh, is that Alex Debrinkit? Yeah, let's go, Alex Debrinkit. So off to a very nice start. So there you go, there's some big names in here. You can get uh, very nice sticker autos. Christian Veselainen, I've already got his, but uh, that's a nice looking card. And let's keep on going. Looking for Nick Suzuki and uh, Michael McLeod. He was a uh, high pick by the Devils, hasn't really panned out yet. Let's keep on going. We've got Benoit Olivier Grou. All right, so some weaker names too, of course. And then Cody Glass, very nice. So we're getting some good names for sure in this a lot of autos. Cody Glass, that's a sick one. And then we've got uh, number 19, Jason Robertson. All right, not too bad. Are we on to the uh, thick cards now? Nope, still thin ones. And we've got a goalie here, Stuart Skinner. Okay, so no Carter Hart, but uh, some decent names for sure. I think this is a thick one coming up, so... International Ice, it's a Finn, so it could be uh, Christian Veselainen. Two out of five! Oh, Yuso Valimaki! That's a nice card. Very nice. International Ice, <laughs> Finland, numbered two out of five. That's a beauty. We've got a thin one here, so so I believe, if I remember correctly, if you got a thin card after a thick one, that meant you probably got either an Eichel Auto or a, a Nico Hishi or a Nolan Patrick one. So let's see if I'm right here. Uh, we've got a... Who is this? Yeah, Nolan Patrick. So I was right on that. We got Nolan Patrick. That's a decent one for sure. 
and hopefully you can turn it all around. And a few more cards. These will probably all be memorabilia. Four thick ones. We have a ooh, Gary Sargent, I guess. Sargent uh, Heroes memorabilia card. Not numbered. Don't know about that player, but uh, let's see on the back. Uh, yeah, that's all they say. And next up, we've got Chris Pronger. Just another jersey card. Okay, and that's the back. And then we've got Daryl Sidor, another jersey. So we're not getting any patches, so that's a little rough. All right, and a final card. Come on, let's hit something big. Uh, ooh, ooh. Oh, this could be good. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, old-time hockey heroes. Three of three. Oh, my God. Authentic swatch of Howie Morins. That is so sick. Oh my god, alright, there you go. And that is game used memorabilia. I don't even know, that feels like a sweater of some sort. I don't even know. So, there you go. That is a sick card. This box was uh, pretty good for sure. I mean, we got 2 out of 5 Valamaki. This card is just so sick. And, I mean, some really good autos as well. Patrick, Cody Glass, and Alex Dabrinkit. So, that's pretty much it. No recap, really, for this video because, I mean, a single pack box. And, uh, yeah, so that's what it is. But, I mean, I'm a really big fan of this product. I really liked getting the uh, prospect autos back in the day. And uh, that was just a lot of fun. Unfortunately, no patches. I got a lot of patches in my uh, first box of this. But still a very good box in my opinion. Let me know what you thought about this product down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you all next time.